Hi, I am Meg. I work in an office. To lead a healthy lifestyle, I go to the gym every morning. Now I am working out in the gym. I always do exercises to be fit. I have already jogged about 2 kilometers and have done some push-ups. I have been working out for an hour and now I am going to finish my training. Today at the lesson we are going to learn present tenses and how to form them. Let's get started. Present simple is used to talk about routine, habits, things which we do regularly. Max says, I work in an office. I go to the gym, that's her routine. Meg regularly goes to the gym to be fit. Meg works in an office. We need the present continuous to talk about things we are doing right now, at the moment of speaking. Right now Meg is in the gym, right now she is working out, right now she is doing exercises. Meg is at the gym now. She is working out. Present perfect tense is used to talk about experience. Things we have done in the past with a visible result. Meg is a bit tired. She has run 2 kilometers. She has done exercises. We need the present perfect continuous to talk about an action which started in the past and is still in progress. Meg is in a sweat. She has been working out for an hour. She has been exercising for an hour. Let's compare verb forms in different present tenses. Present simple. Meg regularly exercises. Which means she regularly goes to the gym and regularly does exercises. Present continuous. Meg is exercising now. Right now, at the moment of speaking, she is doing some exercises in the gym. Present perfect. Meg has already exercised. We talk about a completed action, that she has done some exercises, she has done some push-ups, she has run, etc. Present perfect continuous. Meg has been exercising for an hour. We emphasize duration and talk that the action started about an hour ago and is still in progress. Now let's compare negative forms of present tenses. Present simple. Meg doesn't smoke, which means she has no habit at all. Present continuous. Meg is not smoking now. Right now, at the moment of speaking, she is not doing it. Present perfect. Meg has never smoked. She has never had such experience. Present perfect continuous. Meg has not been smoking lately, which means that in recent past she has not been doing it at all. Now we are going to compare questions in present tenses. Present simple. The question about routine. Things she does every day. Does Meg work in an office? Yes, she does. Present continuous. The question about things she is doing right now, at the moment of speaking. Is Meg working now? No, she isn't. She is doing an exercise now. Present perfect. The question about experience. Has Meg worked in an office today? No, she hasn't worked yet. Present perfect continues. The question about really recent experience. Has Meg been talking to her boss? No, she hasn't started working yet. Let's see how we complete the present simple tense. To make an affirmative sentence, we start with the subject. If the subject is I, we, you, they, we add a verb. 
For example, I play tennis on Mondays. If the subject is of the third person singular, he, she, it, we add s to a verb. Meg plays tennis on Fridays. I go ice skating twice a week. Meg goes ice skating on Tuesdays. To complete a negative sentence in the present simple, we start with the subject. If the subject is I, we, you or they, we add do plus note and the verb. I do not go swimming. If the subject is he, she or it, we add does, not and the verb. Meg does not ride the bike. I don't play rugby. Meg doesn't play rugby. To ask a question in the present simple, we begin with do plus subject I, we, you or they and the verb. Do you dance hip hop? Yes, I do. If the subject is of the third person singular, we start a question with does. Does, then he, she, or it, plus verb. Does Meg ride a bike? No, she doesn't. Do you ride a horse? Does Meg go horse riding? In the present continuous, we make an affirmative sentence using the verb to be. So let's look how we form it. If the subject is I, we add M plus a verb with ING. I am playing hockey now. When the subject is he, she, it, we add is and a verb with ING. Meg is playing tennis now. When the subject is we, you or they, we add R and a verb with ING. They are playing tennis now. I am going skating. She is going skating. They are riding motorbikes. To form a negative sentence in the present continuous, we start with the subject. I plus M not and verb plus ing. I am not sleeping now. He, she or it plus is not and a verb with ing. Meg is not reading a book now. We, you or they plus are not and a verb with ing. They are not talking now. They are not jumping. I am not riding a horse now. When we form a question in the present continuous, we start with auxiliary. Am, I, and a verb with ing. Am I eating now? No, I am not. Is, plus he, she, or it, and a verb with ing. Is my cooking now? No, she isn't. Are plus we, you or they and a verb with ing. Are they driving? Yes, they are. Are we doing yoga? No, we aren't. We are rowing. Is she doing boxing? No, she isn't. She is playing volleyball. Present perfect, the tense we use to talk about experience, is a bit different for regular and irregular verbs. If we complete an affirmative sentence with regular verbs, we start with a subject, then add have or has, plus a verb with ed, like stayed, stopped, tried, etc. For example, I have lived in New York. If we talk about irregular verbs, it's necessary to remember 
that we mostly never add ed to a verb which is irregular. There is a regular verb table and we need the third column, which is called past participle. So, a subject, have or has, and past participle. We have met Tom. She has swum. They have jumped from a plane. He has won the race. To complete a negative sentence with regular verbs, we need a subject, have or has, not, and a verb with ed. Have not is similar to haven't, has not, hasn't. We have not danced for a month. He has not worked since August. To complete a negative sentence with irregular verbs, we also need past participle. Subject, have or has, plus not, and verb of past participle. We have not read it. She has not come. They haven't landed yet. He hasn't scored a goal. To ask a question with regular verbs, we begin with have or has, then a subject and a verb with ed. Have they stayed at the hotel? Has James locked the door? To ask a question with regular verbs, we also use past participle. Begin with have or has, then subject and past participle. Have you been there? Has she woken up? Have they got the first prize? Yes, they have. Has he served the whole day? Yes, he has. To complete an affirmative sentence in the present perfect continuous, we need an auxiliary verb – have or has. We begin with subject, then have or has, been, and verb plus ing. I have been working for an hour. They have been skiing for two hours. She has been training all day. To make a negative sentence, we start with a subject, add have or has, then been, plus not, and a verb with ing. I have not been reading all afternoon. They have not been running. They have been dancing. They have not been swimming. They have been playing baseball. To ask a question, in the present perfect continuous, we begin with auxiliary have or has, then subject plus been and a verb with ing. Have you been cleaning all day? Have they been surfing for two hours? Yes, they have. Has she been diving? Yes, she has. What about you? What have you been doing recently? Write in comments. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to learn English.